Hey, what's up guys? My name's Tyson and for the last few months I've been taking my days off to go to thrift stores, yard sales, and estate sales to find stuff to resell online for a profit. We're gonna go to a couple of estate sales. There's a vintage pop-up store just down the road a little bit. We'll go there after that. And then finally, we're gonna wrap things up by going to all of the three Goodwills in the area because today is something that they don't do very often. It's 50% off basically everything in the store. So stay tuned, like, subscribe, all of that. It's gonna be a good one, let's go. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Wait till the There were so many toys in this house, but unfortunately it was more of the 90s dollar store collection and I couldn't find any that were of value. Some of the brands that I like to go through when I'm looking through closets is, uh, you know, vintage LL Bean, Columbia, North Face. I couldn't find any of those here. And there were a lot of t-shirts as well, but most of those were just all blanks, not super valuable. One of the things that I love to do is to find the old accessories that go with uh, vintage products that I have in stock. And so I picked up this Polaroid 600 Platinum film. If I were buying the camera, then I'd much rather have the film with it. And so just to pick this up for an extra dollar, bundle this together, you get more money out of it. So these Sony headphones, I picked these up for just a dollar. It's another example of what I was talking about. And I'm gonna pair them with the Sony Walkman that I have. Much more likely people are going to buy your Walkman if you have the matching headphones to go with them. And so for paying only a dollar more, it's gonna make your items stand out and it's gonna sell your item quicker. I'm kind of kicking myself for not picking up this Sylvania TV VCR combo. If you don't know, these things go for quite a bit of money. They were asking $40 for it, and at the time it just didn't feel very good to spend that much on it. I've bought this TV in the past, and so sold comparisons online. They go for about $200 on a really good day, and so I'm really sad I didn't get this one. I thought this vintage Polaroid camera with sticky film was going to be a great find, but then I looked them up, they really weren't worth that much, so it's always good to double check. Best case scenario would have broken even on that one, so I'm glad I put it back. These are Chambers, and she's with another Oh, okay. This is the second estate sale of the day that I went to and I entered through the garage and I found a bin of hats. So let's go over this hat haul. I found five in total. I got them for a dollar a piece. This is the first one. It was a 2002 Salt Lake Olympic hat, still new with the tags. Got the strap back, uh, really cool. These go for about 20 online. Next was this oversized Oakland Athletics 
hat. It's a fitted one. I assume I can get about 15 to 20 for this one. Next is this camo trucker hat made by Duck Bay. Also in really good condition. I'm thinking 15 to 20 on that one as well. This one is maybe my favorite find of the day. I always see people in videos picking up these ones or selling them on whatnot and uh, it's happy to find this one. I expect about 40 to $50 for this one. It's practically brand new. Then the last one that I found is this Miller High Life. It's uh, another trucker hat. I expect to get about $20 for this too. Mm -hmm. You might go just stand in line. There's a small bin of pins that I found and I was really excited to find it. But after going through it, I discovered that it was just mostly pins from a local elementary school. Usually when you see a collection like that, they're full of pop culture ones, old movie pins, music, or um, maybe like even old political ones that usually sell pretty well. This time it was not the case. <laughs> If you can't tell by now, one of my favorite things to look for is the vintage electronics from the 80s and 90s. And I found this Sanyo voice recorder. Shout out to Felicity. If you know, you know. At an estate sale I went to a couple of weeks ago, I found a huge like 12 pack of brand new cassettes. And so I'll pair those together. I bought the voice recorder along with this CD cleaner for $5. If you remember my last video, I bought a Bop It XT from the thrift store. They're really easy to flip. You can make a $20 profit on them. And so I was excited when I saw this other Bop It. Unfortunately, it was broken. The battery case was taped over. Very important to always check. It was an easy no. At the risk of being redundant, I'll say that I bought these cassettes so that I could pair them with existing VCR DVD combos that I bought. It's just a great way to add value to an existing item that you're already selling. And I won't bore you with this next part. I waited in line for over 45 minutes to check out. We'll fast forward to the next sale that I went to. So I saw an ad on Facebook Marketplace for a handmade and vintage thrift shop. Uh, it's the first day that it's opening. It's just a little pop-up shop inside a furniture store. Thought we'd check it out before we go to the Goodwill. Hey guys. Thanks. This couch is sick. Um, mostly the market. We got all sorts of sectionals, chairs, three, two, one. Make yourself comfortable. We're not really big on like jumping on your back. And okay. Get the bigger one. You should definitely get the beauty, that kind of stuff. Got it. So yeah, just okay. make Thank you. Man. Yeah, if anything jumps out of you, let me know. Rip. That ad is just manipulative. Tons of vintage items, yeah. By tons of, do they mean three? Gotta go to Goodwill to get this bad taste out of my mouth. No cart. No buggies, as Harry Tornado would say. So the VCR DVD combo is one of my favorite things to look out for. You can find them from around five to $20 and almost always they sell for 40 to $90. And that's depending on the condition or the model. Just 
not work. I saw this one at Goodwill on half off day. I decided to test it out before I bought it. I'm lucky that I did because it was a no-go. Didn't work at all. I've seen videos of other resellers picking up these Skechers Shape Ups. Mine were only $3, half off day at Goodwill, and they usually sell for around at least $30. Easy win. It's only a buck. Still no buggies. One of the things that I always like to keep an eye out for is VHS tapes because there are some that sell for like thousands of dollars. If I find one that's sealed, I look it up almost every time because I saw this video from Commonwealth Picker just recently and he found a few that were sealed for over a thousand dollars. I couldn't believe it. He even found some that were worth 50 and 100, which are still worth picking up because most of the time nobody charges more than $2 for these cassette tapes because they think they're just outdated and not valuable. Found a couple of t-shirts that aren't bad. This Doctor Strange Funko. This old Beatles. Not super valuable by themselves, but I'm gonna throw them on my whatnot auction. Should be some fun items to add to that. $4.99. Clean this up. And it's half off today, so $2.50, I'll take it. Should have checked on ebay this is an exploding kittens taco cat and it goes for 20 to 25 dollars talk about a missed opportunity not even a dad yet as jay-z says on to the next one how are you doing today i'm doing okay how's it going with you Going pretty busy. Good morning now. Pretty busy. It is. Uh, it's half off, right? Yeah. Yeah. You have to have the app on your phone. Do you have it? I think so. Mistress. Discount. You say sixteen ninety. Your total is seventeen even. Found this Lakers 47 brand snapback. It was $2. I'm gonna soak it in a little OxyClean bath to take out the sweat stains and give it a nice reshape and it should be worth about 20 to $25. Should be $3. Just found this Samsung Blu-ray player and testing it out. Actually, it works and it's only $2 today, so I'm gonna grab this. I found a cart for the first time today. Things are looking up around here. Went through this whole rack of clothes. Only ended up with one shirt. Just gonna throw it in auction. Nothing to write home about. Okay, GoPro has died, but the iPhone is rocking. Third Goodwill. We're gonna find some stuff in this one. $4.99 
Board games are a trickier category for me. I discovered that they were worth looking into when I was about to throw away my old Office Monopoly game. Turns out it was worth over $100. So now unless I see that exact game or something that stands out to me, then I just avoid the category. But I did find this Speak Out game and it was sealed. It's that one where you put like the weird orthodontist things in your mouth and you try to get people to understand what you're talking about. The price that I paid was only a dollar and they're going for about 17 online when I looked it up. We'll take the risk for $2. I bought that Windows keyboard. The ones that I look for that usually resell for $30 or $40 are ergonomically correct. I always say that word wrong. And they have the wrist resting stations on them. So look out for those. And test this out. Turns on. It ejects. Got an old Lion King in it. See if it plays. Mm -hmm. Kind of finicky, I guess. That's another no. Hey, shout out. A little Ed Sheeran tour shirt. We will pick that up for $150. that one up. Some good ones. So I'm a pretty big sports guy and I just found this Sega Strong shirt. Um, they gave the shirt to all the players in the NBA when the announcer, Craig Sager, who had cancer, passed away in order to commemorate him. And he had hideous style. So this is a sweet one to find. This Nike hoodie is good. I was not familiar with the Tombolo brand, but this thing looked really unique to me. I looked it up, couldn't find the exact one, but this brand is selling for lots of money. Look out for Tombolo. Comps were ranging from 70 to $200. I'm not sure what I can get for this one, probably in that same range. Overall, I'd say it was another really successful day of thrifting. Not only did we find some great things at the Goodwill for 50% off, but we also found some fun stuff at the estate sale as well. And although this vintage Tombolo jacket was a great buy for the day, it'll probably give us the most profit. It was not my favorite. My favorites were the red hats that we got at the estate sale. And to celebrate a job well done, I thought that we could pour ourselves a beverage. Now, just not any ordinary beverage. That would be a little boring. One of my favorite things to do when I go to gas stations and grocery stores is to find the drinks that are new or weird, and I just like to try them all. And so Mountain Dew came out most recently with the Flamin' Hot Soda, and it looks absolutely disgusting to me. But since we have a red hot hat that we picked up today, I figured we'd pick up some Flamin' Hot Dew and try it out. They make everything flaming hot, but this, I don't know. This is a step too far. Let's, let's pour, let's try it out. Oh yeah. Okay. Doesn't smell hot, it smells citrusy. 
Ooh, very orange. Oh yeah, look at that. <laughs> How excited. I'm a little nervous. <laughs> the fizzle burns. burns you in the nose right away um the heat builds up at the end it tastes a little better than i thought that it would i would never buy this again but oh it like sizzles in your nose right when you drink it <laughs> all right i'm done <coughs> thank you guys for coming on this thrift trip with me if you enjoyed it at all or if you learned even a little something make sure and give it a like and if you haven't already please subscribe we'll see you on the next one Cheers.